Forecast News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, tonight we go way back 1801-1802. Remarkably mild winter. Of all the uh, diaries I've read, all the weather records I've read, uh, this was an exceptionally warm winter, ranking up there with the 1827-1828 winter and also the 1875-76 winter. And at the White River Mission, Ford on the White River in Madison County, they were riding down that the weather was as warm as it was in the spring in January. There was very little snowfall, and on January 8th, the mention was there was little frost during some of the nights, and it was as warm as the latter end of April during a lot of those nights. And if you research this, it was even warm up into New England and the Mid-Atlantic. January 28th, 60 degrees at Salem, Massachusetts. Now, it's going to get warmer here. A nice meltdown in the forecast. Also, a lot of wind, though, with that on Saturday. Strong southwest winds up to 30 miles an hour. Still windy Sunday, but colder, and the wind's turning westerly. And nothing strikes me uh, it, it, as being a real substantial weather system next week. I mean, there are going to be a lot of clouds. There are a couple little impulses that come through, but the confidence is so low on the timing, it's best to not even put any precip potential in right now. So kind of uh, uneventful regime, and eventually we'll climb above normal before that Arctic blast arrives as we end January. Tonight, upper teens to lower 20s area-wide including 21 Ladoga, 19 at Dayton. Tomorrow we're in the upper 20s to low 30s. 31 Lafayette, 30 Delphi. Not much wind, kind of some broken low clouds, partly to perhaps mostly cloudy, but Saturday it warms up near 40 in the north to mid 40s Lafayette. We could be in the upper 40s at Crawfordsville. Might even touch 50 at Kingman where there's much less snowpack and 43 at Burlington but with that strong wind, though. Some low clouds tonight. There'll be at least broken low clouds tomorrow with some sunshine. We'll break them up for a little bit tomorrow evening still, but tomorrow night I think the low clouds could fill back in. Temperature falls to the upper 20s, then rises overnight, setting the stage for the warm, windy Saturday. That's 2.30 on Saturday before the clouds fill in Saturday night. And a little front comes through that will cool it off on Sunday. But again, the trend will be for a relatively mild pattern. Tim's running above the normal high of 31 or 32, uh, really the later in January. But once we end January, go into early February, the cold will dump in, temps well below normal. And with the polar jet and subtropical jet looking to perhaps gel and merge down here in the south, the stage will be set for better chances of getting a winter weather event in our area. And also, even after that, even as we get towards February 6th, 7th, we may have an Alberta clipper pattern that settles in and perhaps a big nor'easter on the east coast. So that signals to me still cold, still chances for getting some snow, at least at the very least minor snowfall events in our area. So all that said, uh, from what has been a relatively, what will be a relatively a ho-hum next week, it'll start to get more active and colder with snow and well below normal temps as we end January and move into February. But 45 and windy Saturday, but 34 and windy Sunday with cloudy skies, 32 Monday. And again, temps pretty close to normal Tuesday, Wednesday, above normal 36 by Thursday. Well, you keep bumping that temperature up on Saturday, and I like to see it up to 45, even better. Yeah. Can we hit 50 maybe? maybe we can <laughs> Let's hope that the data shows that tomorrow. Let's hope it's 55 by Saturday. I'll take it. All right, okay. I'll take it.